A lot of photographers, when it comes to composition, really don't know where to begin. They will get to a point where they're looking through the camera and then they try to compose the photograph based on what, they, what the subject is doing and the, the way they are. Composition should really be decided on before you ever do anything or pick up the camera. When you're, when you're starting off, you, you have to decide the way the photograph will be done, in, whether it will be done in a full length, three quarter, waist up or closer up composition, and then you have to select a pose that will look best in that composition. Now we're going to start off with closer up photographs showing you. And basically all this is, and even though it's a, a vertical or a horizontal video frame, you start to see the idea. When you're dealing with a waist up photograph, she's just in a comfortable pose now, sit up really straight with your back, okay? If we were going to do like a head and shoulder, all we would do is we would bring this arm back, just laying comfortably flat on your leg, take your left hand out to your knee. Okay, sit up really straight with your back, okay? Basically what we're doing here, and I'm not worried about lighting, I'm not worried about fine tuning the pose, but you start to see that the arms are forming the base of a of a triangular composition to where you can end the photograph here and the arms are filling out the bottom of the frame to where it looks like a finished portrait whereas if she just has her hands completely down to her side here you have all this blank space on the sides of a vertical frame if you're doing like a yearbook a business portrait even a nice head and shoulder pose for her boyfriend or if she's a little older her husband it's still you're going to fill out the base so it's here and then elbow out to your knee good now this is a very simple pose. We would do the same thing and we'll do other things when you start to see the more full length compositions. That's when the, she'll start using her legs and posing in ways that fill out the bottom of the frame, which is really important. Hannah, you look great. Tilt your head a little bit this way. Now, the, in this photograph, there's a whole lot of things that are really pretty. The green grass, the tree that she's leaning against, especially the pink blossoms directly across the street. And as you're, but some of the problems with this that, that can be corrected in the way that you adjust the angle and you line up the shot and adjust the elevation of the camera. First of all, the grass in front of her, if you go too far in front, is burnt up. You have a 15 mile an hour speed limit sign across the street. Um, you do have a street which is showing and you'll see cars going by as we do this. Um, and there's also some people in the background. And all of those things can be eliminated by just selecting the right camera elevation and camera angle. Okay, now, as you can see, there's people like all over everywhere. It's a Saturday at the park, so there's photographers and people and cars and walkathons. In this, okay, we're, we're getting the shot to where we're going to put Hannah directly in front of the speed limit sign. We're going to lower the camera angle to not show the street underneath, making sure we don't show the skyline above to where it's all burnt up. We time it just right so there's no cars or walkathon people going, and we don't show the grass that's burnt up in front of her. So all of that, and you'll see this in the final images, are going to be achieved just by the angle, camera angle and elevation. photograph it's a really pretty angle of Hannah we're doing it from the waist up as I zoom back you can see it could easily be a full-length pose okay but we've done a lot of those so we're doing it where it's closer up it's a very nice angle it's it is a pretty shot especially when we we crop it closer in the final portraits but one it's really easy to make the rails of the bridge a lot more interesting just by cropping or by rotating the camera and tilting it to where it lines up with the the angles of the the rails and then bringing it in to where her head is in the right corner of what will be the composition her elbow will fill up the lower left corner so it just forms the same diagonal as the lines of the bridge so you can make a simple portrait look a lot more elegant and have a lot more impact just by using a little tilt in the right direction